so do you oh no after he does what so, are we doing now so right now with these dogs like these two particular ones i have i'm not doing that because i'm setting some foundation for some other stuff i'm going to use later but with your dog we definitely would be mm -hmm. so let me see some food i'm going to show you a couple i'm not going to have it here oh no we come to bass pro shops and now we're looking at a german shepherd puppy it just doesn't end and the daughter has a birthday on sunday and she thinks she needs a german shepherd puppy do we get a german shepherd puppy hey watch this here shepherd works is showing us her training capabilities with german shepherds this is what she does and we're thinking about getting a puppy from her walk loosely beside you and you look up and walk like towards this tree towards this tree and then come to a stop and hold up say sit i like to pull towards my shoulder that's okay. the best point of contact to get them close to you and she's not pulling on him at all she's just moving but, that well, leash she might have to pull on him though okay. it's got prongs on it so be careful now don't be careful it's okay this dog will literally he doesn't care. So get your leash right. Okay. Now, right your index finger you said hand. double. Yep, but on your right hand. Okay. You said left hand earlier. So yep. So I, yeah. That was so for the cookie. good, but your left hand is your usually your reward hand, and this will be your leash hand for trimming. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then later on it'll be your. So, so does it? So I'll show you. Just so like you're this? not Look down now. So. And then it's in the middle of my diaphragm. Yep. And he's just going to follow me because he thinks he's yeah. Make a noise so or something. Get his right. attention on um, you, Julia. That's about the length that you'll want. So go ahead and just like take a couple Do I steps. Need to put the leash on the other side of it? He'll or? flip around. Uh -huh. So go ahead and walk towards Do that tree. Do I need a double tug? Uh, when he flips around. Okay. So like, now you can fix the leash. Yep. Yeah, get comfortable. Double okay. tug. Say his name, B O D E N, Bowden. Yeah, thank you. It'll be, it'll be kind of starting to see Bowden heel and start walking double. Okay. Bowden heel. There you go. Yeah. Slacking your line. Perfect. And you just like walk into him any way you need. Okay. Because like if you're looking up, we'll walk better. So you don't really have to. Oh. Yep. Can He's I like, Yeah, go ahead. Keep walking with him. Bowden heel. There you go. Just take him for a walk around the parking lot. And you're going to want to relax that left hand now. Okay. There you go. Because he's being good. Yeah. Actually, just drop the left hand. Use your right hand with the leash in it to make him heal if he steps out. Okay. And if he steps in front of you, you can right, yeah, just like that, right turn. In. Right turn? Or left turn. If he starts to go in front of you. Well, there you go. Yeah, see how he got out of your way quick? Yeah. yeah. So just feel it out. Go walk around with him. Because, I mean, this is like the finished product, but... That's how I train the dogs to, like, it's like pressure and release with a horse. I teach pressure. Turn into him, Julia. Yeah. Turn into him. Yeah. Just walk in him like you're going to step on There you go. I'm telling you, he's good. He was bottled on. He's a very good boy. So, that's pretty much what I would teach you with an older puppy. Like, if they do end up getting a little wild on you. Now, I don't know that we need, I mean, I, uh, he's very smart in the face. Um, the 
prong collar is the fastest piece tool to get. I just didn't want her pulling up like we do on our dogs because oh. we don't use one of those. Yeah. So when we want them, you know, we just kind of, you know, like, come on. But and and I just didn't want her to forget that that prong collar is on there. Yeah. So that you can. We well, we come down to if we acclimate them to the environment. Yes. So what I do with my training is forever, right? So I take, socialized. I yeah, but I just take my dog everywhere and. Do you take like, him in the car? Um, once he was a service dog, yes. Yeah. Um, but. Like, there's a lot of dog friendly. Stores. Like, this is this store is dog friendly. I'm about to go walk. Not, I'm not gonna put these puppies on the ground. I'm gonna walk them and show them. But like, as they get older, that's what I want the people to do. And so I was telling you, food was payment, right? All right. The wife is hiding out of the video. She was the. Uh, well, we made it all happen. So we just got a new German Shepherd puppy. But it's not these German Shepherd puppies because it's actually this next or next week thursday that they come available so amanda here in miranda yes. they are the proud uh, promoters of what is it shepherd works yeah so um you guys can find me at the shepherd works w-o-r-x on instagram and you can see what i do with these dogs and what this family just got um a personal protector and best friend Okay, so my daughter just got a happy birthday present. Thank you. Are you excited about this? I'm pumped. So I'm we, pumped. Yeah, so I'm we pumped. just added another dog to our four dog collection. So we'll now have five dogs, and we're going to come back here in the next week or so and arrange to pick up the dog. We'll do a hunter video, and we'll see your facility, right? Yeah. Can we see that and show more? So thank you very much for participating in Ice Age TV's thank YouTube you channel, <laughs> and hopefully this helps anybody else out there that's looking for a puppy. And a little secret here. Great pricing. Great <laughs> pricing. So that's something you should really consider. Great deals. Hope this helps you. Next German Shepherd puppy. God bless, stay safe, and stay tuned. Uh-oh. So the salesman here is really pushing it now. He's uncovered the boat just for me. And oh my goodness gracious. First look. First look, and what's really cool, it doesn't have the uh, trolling motor. That's some money saved. I can always buy that down the road because I'm going to be the guy blasting around the boat. That's so much fishing on the boat. Oh my gosh. This thing just seems to me so practical. I mean, why is that? You know what I mean? It just seems like it's a good practical boat to buy because it's not radically expensive. It's within reason of most people being able to afford it to a degree. I mean, right? In today's right. boating world. I wonder what the average ticket price of a boat is today. What would you even guess? 50 grand? If you kind of took the 100 grand to, to the 20, 30 grand, I mean, would you even know? Probably 50, 55. So what's interesting is the other one is a 1788. So the 1888 makes it what, a foot longer? Is that what it does? And deeper. And deeper. Oh, and then I get the bigger motor, the 225. Right. Wow. And we think this is a 50 mile an hour boat? The price tag's on front of the where it's a. Uh... Oh, so it tells you all that. It already has that already on here? Yeah. When they ship it? No, we just stopped at the end of the day. Oh, okay, you got it. So, but it doesn't show the speed though, right? No. Okay. Wow. So, this price here includes the trailer? It includes the trailer, the motor. The only thing that's not added to it is a $75 dock fee. That's for the trailer, mo trailer motor, and boat. Okay. Has a spare tire. I like that. Wow. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. I'm sorry? Look how classy that looks up here. What do you do? I said look how classy it looks. Oh classy, I get it. I have hard hearing, just so you know. No, I know my daughter's vision, she's gonna bring her lawn chair. <laughs> and she's gonna she's gonna lounge out here and get sun tanned. You know what I mean? Uh so I'm, I know. She's looking for it. We'll come back out. So now here, you say it says a little deeper V-hole. You sure about that? It looks deeper to me. Well, we haven't seen the specs, but here it's got the carpeted. Wow. What a fun boat. I bet you this thing, I bet you this thing's a lot of fun. And have you actually driven one of these boats? Never been on. Have you actually heard anybody that's bought one and been like, it's just a really fun boat or you even know? If you don't know, that's fine. A guy bought one. I took it to his cabin in Maine. Yeah. And 
he seems to love it. He said those waters are so rough up there that this was the boat. He, wow. He bought a 521 bass boat and then he came back and bought one of these just to take to Maine and leave it. Okay. Because that one would be too rough in Maine, but the rough water that he said these things are just. Right. So the right hand screen, that over there, that's going to give your engine information, your fuel information, your depth information, correct? No depth. No depth, really? No. No. So you're so going to have to put that. that they don't have that package. So, I, so that's interesting. So the electronics in front of that steering wheel, that's all on me buying my own stuff. Right. Or whatever. But here's a question for you. So if there's any issues with this boat, do I bring it here? Do I take it to a Ranger dealer? Where do you? Where, what happens if there is something wrong with the boat? You can take it back to any Bass Pro shop. So you have a facility here to work on them? Yes. Uh, here okay. we do, but you being from Leesburg, you probably would want to. Well, I'm going to have the boat down here, too. It wouldn't oh, be a big okay. deal to bring it down here. But what I'm saying to you is, you know how you go to Home Depot and Lowe's, you buy a lawnmower. You know, they don't have a back shop fixing this stuff. We do. So your facility has a full-service marine boat repair facility. I'd be happy to show it to you. Well, let's go look at it because I'm doing a YouTube channel. and I So, you know, here's the thing. Anytime you buy a product from a mass merchandise business in so many words your concern is where is the support but here it is so the good news is if anything's wrong with this boat i can come back here and they're gonna have a proactive attitude to fix the boat versus i buy a ranger boat and they don't have this i just think the ranger dealers would be like yeah we'll take care of you but you should have bought it from me you know so that's great to know wow